But where's the noise? Oh, come on, man. The video didn't even... The video just started. Oh, no. Is this going to be a cooking episode? So, anyway, I, I was going to skip the video. But you know what? I decided to watch the end of the cooking video. What's Hoi Poi Magic? Remember everyone, sweet potatoes must be boiled. Above all, always be with an adult when cooking. Well, Don't duh. Forget this. Dish Extra rhymes with nice. fish. Maybe I shouldn't have watched this. I'm not a cooking guy. Kid has one of his tooths missing. <laughs> yeah, Look it. like you can even see the inside grow because so when you're a kid you lose teeth. Because you baby teeth and grown out and you can get your grown-up teeth. Oh, you have a baby tooth and then you have a grown-up tooth. Mash, mash. I remember one day I had loose two different teeth in. in the same day, but one, they were baby teeth. I remember there is this and thing where I was like, you know, I, I swear my grown-up teeth is shaking. And and I was concerned because it's like, oh, when you're growing up, teeth go bad. It's bad because you got to lose it forever. But I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm love to eat it, but like, yeah. I don't think it's worth the effort to watch it. Oh, come on, man. No, it's, oh, what, what the, no, come on, really? See, now, kids don't actually make these videos the grown-ups do, because the grown-ups have to do everything. Well, that actually looks really good. Why did I watch this? Now I'm just hungry, and I just ate. You're missing! You missed the bowl! Are those peaches? Almonds. Wait, that's a potato-flavored? Thank you so much for Like I get Oreo and strawberry, food. but I knew you would make the a potato food. flavored cake? Yeah. It was easy peasy for ping pong the cup. You know, there's all sorts of weird flavors. Like did you know there is crab flavored ice cream? You know, the crab, the thing that's like you have it with and then you remove the skin and then you have it with butter. First beauty salmon. Mr. Krabs! I wonder how close to 8 I am. Oh my! 5.58, now 5.59 p.m. So, yeah, I'm going to be here for a while. I remember I used to be terrified of cutting my hair. My parents would give me $5 if I did it. I remember I was even younger. Before I had knew what understood about the value of money, there were just rewards, and I remember my parents would always be like, "You get to see the Wallace and Gromit movie." Ah oh, man, Wallace and Gromit is amazing. Ardman Productions. Sorry, I don't know. You know, I I would not recommend changing your hair color. At all, I just think it's really stupid to change your hair color. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> Good for you. It's so weird because you really would think cutting your hair would be painful, but it's not. Oh, there's not that many of these. So anyway, Wallace and Gromit is great. That kid could become a mime. It's like he knows where the flute is, even though there's no actual flute. Maracas are... <laughs> I was gonna say maracas are a Mexican thing and ukuleles are a Hawaiian thing. I have no idea why. But as a kid, I used to confuse Mexico and Hawaii. I have no idea why they have 
pretty much nothing to do with each other. I mean, most of my understanding of Hawaii came from Lilo and Stitch, I think. The vacuum. Do you mean three different vacuums? Seems a bit excessive. What does excessive mean? Excessive means more than is necessary, normal, or desirable. Well, you heard Cortana. There. <laughs> Did I say unnecessary? I don't even remember which word I said. Okay, let me check. Excessive! Pink Floyd went and messed it up. So, you know, I was under the impression. I shouldn't say that, but I thought it was be like. Yeah, there's like, like the regular vacuums, the one with the wand, and then there's like, uh, the little vacuum that goes and cleans your house. I, I, I don't know anything about vacuums. I'm... Search for ping pong You on should YouTube. look... If you want a vac... You're a kid, you're not gonna get your own vacuum. Your parents are gonna get your vacuums. I don't, I don't know. I should just... I'm, I'm an idiot who doesn't understand anything about vacuums. Look at how cute they are. There's the horse that talked about how sicky, sicky, silky he is. Or maybe it's a girl. No, it's like one of those, I think it's a, yeah, the cat had a really high-pitched voice, but I think was male. The, 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 the horse just looked like it was flexing his muscles. Any cows? They say when you're a farmer, you just work when the sun comes up and you stop working when the sun goes down. Did you like our video? Make sure and forget to subscribe! Yeah, we think you can make sure and not... Don't forget to... Point, point. Subscribe! Wishy-washy, fishy-foshy, bishy-moshy, clitchy washy bishy bossy bishy Bishy? What's bishy? Fishy Bosch. Fishy Bosch is a really strong fish that can do powerful things. I, I, I don't feel as in the zone to make videos now. I've only been doing this for like an hour. No! What the? You gotta be kidding me! I've only recorded this for 17 minutes! I don't, I don't know, kids. I just went to the bathroom a half hour ago. Why do I have to... Don't play in the washing. I never did it, but apparently a bunch of kids play in the washing machine. And you, you shouldn't do that, because they're not designed for that. You ever seen YouTube videos of a brick destroying a washing machine? Don't put a brick... I mean, a brick. Don't put a brick inside your washing machine. But I recommend you watch YouTube videos of bricks and washing machine because it's really amazing how they destroy it. Did you like our video? Don't forget to subscribe. Search for ping pong on YouTube. Forgot to say hit. One of these days I'll get it correctly. Oh, thank you, baby shark. Uh oh, Chupa Laka, Chupa La. The skeletons? The monsters. When we clean up all the trash, the monsters will fall asleep. <laughs> I thought. Wow. Um, I thought they were just gonna disappear and just want to just more, but I guess they're just going to sleep. That's how she said six, six, six. But it's not the numbers, it's the word six. Tick, tick, tick. Party time. Get you with the in party time. Cortana, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, I give up.
Iron Man, how does the shark get into the sky? There's a Pokemon called Whale Lord, and just when you consider how big it is, considered to its weight, it's like actually able to float in air because it's just so small. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like seventy percent of the world is ocean. So there's a show called Wild Crash, which is just basically just a documentary on animals for kids, and like ha there's a spin-off called Wild Crash Ocean because like just it makes sense because it's like you remember oh 70% of the world is the ocean so of course there's gonna be more in the ocean. There's a show called Zabuku which is just this great show. It was and they had this place called Animal Junction where all the animals would live. They were mostly land animals because that's just how most because you can't have and a I found her fish following on a the thing car. Her. What? That's a big no-no. On the car. And when I say, um. But you shouldn't so just anyway, go follow anyone. Real live action Zabuafu. Okay. Yeah. Both of you Mostly remember. with just land animals because okay. you can't just have fish. Now, I'm off on to a live action the TV show. Huh? I want to go. Me too. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's letting kids go to police? Like, dude, like, as a police officer, you occasionally get, like, things that could straight up kill you? The balloon is gone! Oh no, it's just gonna fly into the air and then you'll never be able to find it again. Um. I'm your new neighbor. Um. Who this guy is? Yeah, like you should know who a dude is. It's like if they just tell you they're their neighbor, yeah, you, you shouldn't trust them unless you actually remember them. Like you need a parent's permission. Like ask your parents or your guardian or whatever, whoever's the most important growing up in your life. And they say like, oh, I don't know who this guy is, don't trust him. But if they do know who he is, you can say, oh, well, okay, my grown-up guardian or parent or whatever, they say he's trustworthy, so he is. Subscribe! Yes, I'm ready. Roger. Well, I mean, you're part of the 70% of Earth that's... 70% of Earth that's sea. Remember I talked about wild crats and how they were ocean stuff? Yeah, because like, if you think about it, it's like 70% of the Earth is water. So you would think like, oh, well, they would have two different wild crats ocean shows, but there's only one. Because they just don't do his job as a sport. You know what's crazy? There have been more people who have been to the absolute bottom. No, oh, never mind. There have been more people to the moon than the absolute bottom of the earth. Just, oh man! I mean, oh, underwater animals are just the most interesting things because, like, we don't know that much about them. I, I love One nature, night. and just hearing about evolution in nature, it's it's so interesting. I mean, granted, I don't think beach. they should teach you that stuff in school, because it's like, it's not going to oh, help fantastic. you get a job, but just like, I just find it so fascinating, and I bet most people do. Unless you're one of those idiots who doesn't believe in evolution sky, is real. The sparkling lights were right. just, God made anything People because, the ship were and <laughs> because it's so stupid. Because and it's like the most powerful person up. ever in the entire universe How he is. is capable of making Stop. intelligent species. So it's like, oh, evolution's pretty complicated. Suddenly, a big storm came but they're like, no, no, no. It's not just 
That's really simple. He is in danger. Really simple. It's not just, oh, the most powerful species, that, not even species, but just thing in the universe that literally created the entire universe She's is capable of making something? You'd think the most complicated thing in the world would make something complicated to make all the animals work, but the stupid people are like, oh, well, the god just made animals just because. I don't know. Soon, a lady passed by the seashore. And this is all on the opinion of Krishna. This is all what Christians think. So if you're like Hindu or whatever, I'm not talking about you, but just I don't know. Some of the thank you for saving my life. Some of the Christians just don't think things through very well. You know, I like about how I talk about this stuff, like. Toddlers don't normally talk about because he's like, I think a toddler could understand this. So anyway, this is obviously. I don't think I call it a parody, but it's like an adaptation of the Little Mermaid. I haven't seen the Little Mermaid in like 20 years, but it's good. Uh, there's this really funny joke where they she gets a four and like. She used it to calm her hair. They're like, that's not how it happens. You know, in the original version of Little Mermaid, At night, the mermaid there were um, two different characters. They were calling the mermaid so like in the Disney the version, sea. there was a character called Ursula, who was the magic person who gave her the legs. Yeah, she gave her the evil, the not evil, but the maybe the, the person who gave her legs. He was and then there was the other person who was like she marrying the, the prince. prince and, and then in Disney version, they I just took the two the characters prince. that could be evil. And you know it's funny because like Ursula in the Disney the version day, is really the fat, the and like people think of fat people as being not attractive, but she's also the princess, which is obviously attractive. She Ursula is such a super uncommon name. Not many people think of like when people think of like. The Ursula from hey guys, what's it called? Georgia the Jungle. They think of the Ursula from Georgia the Jungle. I remember. I like. I really like the Georgia the Jungle movies, and I like the Flintstones and whole Hannah Barbera stuff. So I saw Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, obviously, I'm gonna like this. It's like it has to be similar to. They hit the stand and just ran away. Old Hanna Barbera and the Georgia the Jungle course. movie. Oh, I, I, didn't like I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I don't know what it was, but I just. It's like, it's 5 out of 10. It's not the worst thing ever. Like, 20 years ago, when, like, you were just sort of stuck with whichever was on TV, it's like, if this is the only thing on. I'd watch Rocky and Bull, like, but now when, like, we have streaming services and stuff, for, like, you can find the stuff you want. Yeah, I wouldn't watch. I didn't like Rocky and Bull, like, cool. Everyone is so dirty! Forest! Why did they say complete? There's Pink Frog! Hey, wait a minute! Now I'm gonna talk about internet art. So anyway, there's these things where, like Trace Team is just sort of copying what people will make drawings. And it's like it's at the point where it's like, okay, if you're just like a person who makes a drawing just for fun and you sort of copy and trace the thing. Like, that's alright, but then when you were like, oh, I expect to get paid for just sort of copying the person's work, it's like, what, what, what are you ex- Come on, man, that's just ridiculous. What does yoy yoy mean? Did you say pricklage? What does pricklage mean? It's like, prickle. What does prickle mean? What does prickle mean? Prickle has two distinct meanings. As a noun, it means a short, slender, sharp pointed outgrowth on the bark or epidermis of a plant. Or as a verb, it means 
experience a tingling sensation, especially as a result of strong emotion. Yeah, so I don't know what prickle means either. Yeah, so I don't know what prickle means either, but it's funny because like 30 years ago, people didn't have the internet. So I don't know. There is this Marvel superhero. I don't know anything about it, but there's this Marvel superhero that takes place like hundreds of years in the future, but he goes back in time. And the only reason he has powers is because he has powers from the future. So I thought, like, what if you had a person who had access to the internet? And they were like the only person who had it a hundred years ago, because you would be the smartest person in the world, because you would know things. Like, people... Man, like, there's this movie called Back to the Future that... I mean, I bet most parents would let a toddler watch Back to the Future, but maybe some wouldn't. And, like, in the third movie, they go to a library to look up a person that died a hundred years ago. And, like, if that movie was made now, they just look it up on the internet. But in 1985, you had to go to the library. I mean, like, imagine someone whose superpower was that they had all the knowledge you can find on the internet, but, like, it took place in, like, the 1920s or something. Did you say Hurty? There's thieves? Like, dude, most of the time when there's a fire, it's just an accident. Oh, God. There's this really stupid thing about the Californian fly fires. Well, anyway, this one crazy person planted a bunch of trees that just can't be at a certain temperature. But since it's California and it's hotter than people in the north part of the country, like Washington State, where I live, or New York, or Boston, or all the people in the 13 colonies, hotter. So now, like half of the Californian, you always hear about California fi fires. Because apparently, the person who made all of them was the same person who was like, I'm gonna sell a bunch of trees that just can't tolerate hot, and they get hot for that reason. Did they say two kilometer race? Because I remember right, in school they always had this big oval, it was two and a half meters, it was also a meter run, but I don't remember. I, I, I'm stupid, I can't remember. I remember there was a Cyber Chase episode, where it's like the people in the middle. Did they say the fattest trucks of the town? They probably didn't, but anyway. There is this Cyber Chase no, episode. I can't, the it wasn't the episode. It's like Cyber Chase like is weird because they have like two different them. things. Where it's like Cyber Chase for real, and then it's Cyber Chase, and then the anyway. The Cyber Chase for real segment was about Bianca. She was like, wait a minute, it's not fair that the people in the center have to run less miles than the people in the outer center. But it's like, you're closer to the middle of the so I don't. What well, am I talking about? Like, do any of you kids even know what multiplication and division is? I mean, I was a weird kid, because like, I was really good at math, so I understood multiplication and division to a certain degree. But I couldn't read. Like, I was just a horrible reader. Like, I don't think I was, like, 12 years old until I could consistently breathe. What am I talking about? I, I forget. So anyway, let's just sort of start over. I don't know why, but it's, like, you think it would be called Police Officer Cop Forest and Helicopter. No way! The, the forest is the ambulance! I remember the name! Ah, oh, so, so stupid because, like, I remember six of the twelve Loud House sisters. I remember there's, um, from oldest to youngest, there's Lori, there's Lenny, there's Lola, and I don't remember in the middle. And then in the youngest, there's, um, Lily. It would have been dangerous with civilians around. Lisa, Lolo, and I remember the middle 40%. All by yourself. 
I remember the youngest three and the oldest three, but not the one in the middle. So it's weird because like the Loud House has been out for like maybe seven years by now. I still remember. What's the deal with that guy? He's saying like this is an old. It's probably a villain. I mean, imagine how many kids who watch the video they're subscribed, and every time they see it, it's like they click the subscribe button, and, and then on on they accidentally unsubscribe. Mr. William, marry me. Wedding? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Why were they in a rocket ship? Was that a sonic sound? Cortana, why are you? No, Cortana, I do not help. I can set reminders or timers. I do not want to talk talk to you, Cortana. For more, ask, what can you do? Okay, so anyway, in Sonic, there's a sound where, like, you go to the, um, right, and then you stop, and then you go to the other direction, it's like this ah! sound effect when you change things. I thought I heard that. It was, like, literal Sonic sound effect, but whatever. So anyway, the people at Ninja Kids and Superhero Kids, they always, like, reference old video games, because old video games are cool, but they're not edgy like newer video games, so they're just really cool. Did she say pointing on the pink flying bus? Even though they're a stranger. <laughs> I like the way they shake their hands. She's black! They don't have many black people in South Korea. You ever notice how the people in these cartoons are always like Asians? It's because the cartoon is made in South America. But there's a black woman. I mean, not a black woman, a black girl. Was that the, the Eiffel Tower? The Leaning Tower of Pisa? <laughs> Remember in the, not the live action, the 2014 Peabody and Sherman movie and it's like the Leaning Tower Plaza? It wasn't always leaning. Adventure! Do you like our video? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos! So you're just gonna copy the art of another person. Press A. Is this a video game? Diamond. Yeah. Those aren't PlayStation symbols. No, oh, what are the PlayStation symbols? There's like an X, a square, a triangle, and a circle, I think. Dizzy, is this a goodbye poop poop video? Look at all that mud getting everywhere. You should move. Not move. Like you're not going from one house to a different house. You're just <laughs> You're just moving like a hundred feet. <laughs> Was that Jupiter? You know it's the biggest planet. It's the one that has the giant red What's the deal with the giant red spot on Jupiter anyway? You know, I thought if, like, Jupiter was a person, it would be, like, to have this giant red boil. Like, remember the character in Fairly Odd Parents that has this giant red boil? Because, uh, apparently, there was a person who worked on the show, and his name, last name, was literally Boyle. So they had a, a character who was a kid with a giant boil. I mean, I guess that would be fun. Well, how? Whoosh, whoosh. Mush, mush. It's like you're a dog on an Alaskan, not an Alaskan bobsledding, but Alaskan sledding team. You know, they have dogs. Oh man, I mean, there was this thing in like the early 1900s or maybe it was late 1800s. I think it was early 1900s. 
for like the people in Alaska were getting a dangerous disease so the people had to send them medicine so they used Alaskan dogs and it's just so cute that like these dogs are literally saved the lives of a bunch of people oh my god it's so cute a cat couldn't do that. A cat is like, they're good for protecting all the mice and acting cute, but they can't, they can't deliver medicine like a dog could. Colorful flowers color the field. Colorful flowers color the field. Let's look, you going to go eight directions. It's like, did you know on the Nintendo 64, so it was like the D-pad, like, not Microsoft, um, Sony, for the PlayStation Dual co Shock, they copied the, um, I was expecting, Nintendo 64 can only go eight directions, which isn't that many. Wait, I think it was, or was it 16? Maybe it was 16. It's like how everyone is like, oh man, like using the DS Mario 64 is so much worse because you can only go four directions. Like, like come on, man, it's not as bad. Because when I was a kid, I used to play computer games on the um, PC where you could only move four directions because that was just all they did for a computer, and I got by fine. What does the word sickle mean? I've got this for you on what does the word sickle mean. Come on! Ah, I couldn't understand it! Why is this not loud? Five? What does that mean? Where's the stupid button? Wow, I finished a sickle it. Is the tool I with a curved metal blade and a short handle that is used for cutting grass, grain, or cross 1234. Oh, the word sickle comes from Latin really secular, meaning hungry. sickle, and is related to the root asterisk S E K dash, meaning to cut five. Now. So I'm sorry I wasted a bunch of time talking Let's about what's the definition of world of sickles. I don't Wait, know, and I was growing up, so I'm sure if you're a kid you and you don't know every word ever, your you're going to be really interested. I remember the song where it's like, Thief Shark, Shark Tale, I remember that. I also remember the, um, um, was it, the one about... The animals have a different oh, fur. It's it was the first one I watched. That was in. It's like I am a it's sheep and I'm very curly. Hair. I'm very dearly. I love it very dearly and whatever. Oh, it's a hair dryer that blows air. Hair dryers kind of look like guns. Hmm. Well, that looks like a shark tail. I found you, baby shark. And uh, the one in the upper left looks like a frying pan. Brooklyn, if you don't wash your hands, the badger. Why is his is name Brooklyn? Body. But your whole body looks dirty is nice when your hands are really clean. dirty. Oh, Brooklyn, I think you need to wash your face too. Wash my face? No, I don't You need want to take to a shower or a face. bath, whichever one oh, you're old Brooklyn. enough to do. Wash your face. Do 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 Wow! <laughs> Why is he laughing? How does that feel, Brooklyn? Refreshing. I bet right? it feels pretty good, but yeah, you still didn't get the bottom it's part. More beautiful. <laughs> Everything below his fins is still Why don't dirty. You shower now to be even cleaner. Yeah, that's what I was talking you about. I bet if you showered, too. you could have gotten everything Wait, off out once. I really don't like taking showers. Oh my! You didn't know what you were doing. Why does the grandma shark have a tail? It's not a dolphin tail, that's like a unicorn tail. I'm over here. Huh? Where? I don't see you. How do you not see her? She's still left. Grandma, where have you been? Honey, what is this outfit? 
Street. He's been doing Grandma Shark things. I've turned into the Tooth Fairy. What? What do you think? You know, they say sharks keep losing their teeth teeth over and over and over again. Because, like, with humans, you get baby teeth, and then you get rid of them, and then they get grown-up teeth. But sharks just getting teeth over and over and over again. I swear the finger on the left looks bigger than the one on the right, but, you know... I mean, I do invert things horizontally, so... Now that your hands are clean... Yay! I'm going to eat a delicious cookie and brush my teeth again later! <laughs> Don't eat the one in the upper middle. That looks smaller, and I think it has a, the number three on it for some what reason. Mess? It's bath time! So you're Why do they need to take a bath if they're underwater? You know, I was on the fence, metaphorically speaking about better make me but I'm glad I did because I've been talking a lot. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Dude, I remember there was one called Hello Poo Poo, but I haven't seen that one yet. And I was like, we're gonna see you the toilet again every day. When you get the feeling that you have to go, sit go on where? Yeah, that makes more sense. Goodbye. Come on in. Do do do. Go go go. No. I mean poo poo poo. Goodbye poo. That one poop got stuck. That went on for a while. Did you see that? It was just frozen for like a few seconds. It's like how you always get like those 80s movies that just freeze on one frame. Everyone's blowing raspberry. So, I would assume they would be scared because the octopus is trying to eat them, but I guess the octopus isn't. Octopuses are carnivores, by the way. They don't eat plants. Go, go, Gadget! Remember the third one is called Forest. We are the Super Master Team! You underestimated the monster tracks! Ha ha! Wait and watch us take over the city! Remember in the movie Cars? They have a blooper scene with Mike and Sully and their monster trucks because it's cars. They save the Boomobile. What is it called? Um, the guy who plays Cliff from Cheers. Um, I don't remember, but he's in every Pixar movie. Except for the movie Soul, because instead of having a voice, they just have a character who looks like him. I guess they did say a head, but I don't know. It's like there's this old Looney Tunes cartoon where they say, go to arms, and what they actually mean is like, go get the guns and stuff. When I heard it, I just meant like two arms. Like there's arms and you have two arms. So when I hear a head, I think just the body part of a head. Go ahead. They light it on fire! Hooray before it destroys, um, well not the entire city, but just a bunch. Not a bunch of the city, but like a few blocks or so. Uh, it's annoying because like if some idiot gets a fire and it burns down your building, you're partially responsible. It's like out here stories of like these people who are like the most clean freaks, but because of their neighbors and they live in the same apartment are just idiots and they are dirty, their apartment gets dirty too and they have to pay the consequences for something that wasn't even their fault. Life is unfair, isn't it? Are they gonna go through who they are? They hit the stand and just ran away. 
Can we catch well, they made quite a mess. Of course. Look at how dirty everyone is. Ooh, did I watch this before? No, I definitely watched it. Kilometer, so now you know it's not from the U.S. You know, I was so surprised to learn. It's like how the U.S. is the only, only major country. I think there's two African countries that still use. I think that's how the English shifts them actually, but England doesn't use it, so it's more likely just the American system. But apparently, it's the monster trucks again. In the UK and Canada, there's like a 50-50 chance that they use the English system. And it's like, what? I thought we were the only ones who did that, but they use it too. Super dope monster trucks. What do you mean? I thought they said Munch, not monster. Not monster. Adam's family wants to be mustard. I don't think they said mustard. Did you know that like a bunch of vegetables are actually just mustard? Like cauliflower and spinach. And spinach. And, like, like, all of the leafy greens that you don't like, those are just types of spinach. It's like how a chihuahua and a great dane are still technically the same species, even though they're completely different. Aren't civilians just like yourself. regular people? Oh, thank you. I'm glad we all That's a pretty a big word for a YouTube kids trucks. video. Ah, oh, the this blue monster so trucks look angry. Angries? That's not a plural. There's no S. Angry. You Wait a minute. So I remember there's one that. called Roger Ebert and there was a team called Cisco and Ebert. So, like, if Roger from Roger and Ebert is called... Roger Ebert, what is Siskel's first name? Sorry, I don't know the answer to- What is the first name from Siskel from Siskel and Ebert? Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one, but I'm learning. Gene! It's Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert! The entire world? They're gonna fix everything in third world countries? What time it is? Oh my. I'm ready. So it's just for Roger. Wait a minute. Click the subscribe button. You just said Complete. one of them was well, named Ready and one was called Roger. Jungle jungle. Jungle jungle. I say. What animals do you think live in the jungle? Tigers. Oh. Oh. It's a oh snake. Dear. I need your help to find the animals' voices. Really? You help me? Thank you. I don't have anything better to do, so I guess I'll help you. It's a sheep! Oh, that must be wrong! That's it! This is the sound of a fluffy sheep! Well, silky hair who she loves de oh, dearly. This is hard. Dude, wasn't there an Arthur PC the game tail? from the late the 2000s answer. that would like you would switch around the, the things? Let's find the answer! It's the answer! Oh. Oh. <laughs> she just kicked him with its tail, unless it's a boy alligator, then he kicked him with his tail, but I'm not entirely sure. How can a snake eat a horse? Silky, silky. Should I make a fancy hat with a parrot's feathers? <laughs> a hat? Why would you make a hat? Parrot, be careful! The snake is near! Did you say fancy hat? Let's see here. Just it's fly away, parrot! 
<laughs> he just bumped it with his butt. Oh, it's the old McDonald who had a forum thing now. Let's just talk about random jungle animals. Let's talk about tree frogs. This time will be harder. Yeah, we have a high IQ. I think it's the green one. So I'm assuming Pink Frog is colorblind because, um, dude, you can see the animals they're based off. You can see the cow. You can see the um. Oh, now you can't. How can a snake eat a tiger? Maybe it's a prehistoric test. I almost said prehistoric tank. Prehistoric tank from thousands of years ago where like the head of the snake is the size of a basketball. Blotchy? What does blotchy mean? Rainforest frogs! But now it's scary as a giant snake, apparently. Oh, McDonald. No, if they're that how if they're that important, why haven't they haven't been in any of their videos? Is the teacher a sheep? The baby has two different colored eyes. Look at us. We have one yellow one and one blue one. Which is interesting because the one on the left is on the right. And the left eye is the same as the right eye mom. But it's only right because I inverted the colors. Inverted means opposite. We're gonna dance now? I thought I was talking to her. I was not talking to you! According to wikipedia.org, Talk to Her is a 2002 Spanish drama written and directed by Pedro Almodovar. I don't speak Spanish! Mara, Dario Grandinetti, Leonor Waddling, Geraldine Chaplin, and Rosario Flores. That's a lot of people. The song is getting faster! Now it's getting slower. Why are you getting slower? Fail. They've drained their battery and now they're dead. I I guess that's the end of them. I I mean I'm sure the actors are fine, but it's just weird. Well, maybe they get recharged. Kid Brooklyn is at the park. My problem. I think little baby shark has lost her mommy. Uh oh. Baby shark. Her voice sounds so calm. They're puppets. They have mustaches and eyebrows. It's a giraffe. I hope. It's probably not. <laughs> Goodbye, balloons. You're gonna pop in the air someday. Is that a unicorn? Wow, and a fairy. A <laughs> How exciting! <laughs> I got one. Uh, yeah, I like. Can you make people taller? Like, make them like wow, nine feet. Look what you did. Oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Don't worry. There is a magical song that will make You messed it up. Cry. You made him sad. Uh -huh. Or her. Oh, magic fairy, will you please sing a peacock? We're here. Little baby, just wait here. And you'll see your mommy again. So she doesn't even know who her mommy is? There's a carousel in the background. And a... Not a ferris oh, wheel. It's my baby. Um, 
this roller coaster? Baby. The baby's look at this long leg, just like mine, right? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's an octopus. Octopuses have eight legs. Squids have six. Okay. How many legs do cuttlefish have? Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one. So they say two, but like it has to be more than two. Bing images cuttlefish. Sorry, I'm. Were you scared? I'm so sorry, little Mama, baby shark's mother. Mama, this is bad. Mama, oh, the baby Mama, sounds so don't cute. Your mommy again. But, I mean, babies are always baby cute. L A G Y. Leg. Brooklyn, we're so proud of you. Great job, Brooklyn. Yeah. So whatever. There's three sizes of cephalopods. Cuttlefish. <laughs> Squids and octopuses and those are the big three. Those are the holy trinity of. It's the sun. Mr. Golden Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Good morning, everyone. I sound like Uncle Grandpa. You know what happens? Grandpa always says, Good morning! Even if it's not morning. I like Uncle Grandpa. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys are good to see our videos. Search for Ping Pong on YouTube. Don't forget! Ping Pong. Ping Pong. Lazy! Come on, dude! You need to work, come on! It's like, you get your food, and you get your ice water, and you get your TV shows. You need to work to deserve that. I see a bunch of... No, not corn, hey! You know, there is this not very nice person who mainly grows hay, and he fired a bunch of his employees because it wasn't very hard to grow hay. He was just a terrible person who was just... He was like... Not the Disney Channel Uncle Scrooge cartoon duck, but the, like the original Uncle Scrooge. Who just never did anything, but he came out as much money. It's like, it's so weird how there are these people who are like, they make so much money, but they never spend any of it. And then you are these other people who are like, Rich, but not like super billionaire rich, but like regular millionaire rich. You spend so much money. I mean, viewers are black and white, so maybe it's them. Well, I mean, I guess there's no harm in trying again because if you succeed, you get a better benefit, but if you fail, you don't get anything, so it's like, yeah, it sounds like better to just try than not try. Yeah, I mean, like, one of the five dairy groups is milk. You know, in the newer... So it used to be the food pyramid where there were, like, five different groups of food. And now there's the farm milk where it's, like, the main four groups and then milk, which is completely separate. And there used to be the food pyramid, and now it's the food plate. I mean, I'm curious, do people in South America have the food plate instead of South America? Yeah, so there used to be the food plate, and now there is the food... I mean, there used to be the food pyramid, and now there's the same... There used to be the food pyramid, and now there is the food plate! God, I feel like such an idiot, I keep getting that wrong. Four times in a row. Good for me, I got it right. Because we were playing Fail Fail. Fail Fail. You know what they say? If you love the job you work, you never work a day in your life. 
I like that video. Did you like our video? Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Search for ping pong on YouTube. Point, 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 point. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, you know what? Whenever I am like, go to the first, it's like, I'm almost like, you know what? Let the people who go first go first. Because then I can study all the people who go first, and it's like, hmm. Maybe if I'm really careful, I can figure out which one is the best. I mean, if there's like a thing where it's like you have a limited time and you go first, you get the best chances of winning, go first. But if it's like the people who go first are the most study, it's like you shouldn't go for the earliest people because you should wait and then study the people who go first to figure out which one is the best. I remember there was this stretch from Ruff Ruffman where it's like this kid. You're a pretty bad job of cutting hair and it's like, well, it's free. What do you expect? <laughs> There's this time in Tiny Toons. So it's like Fox Kids made a spinoff called Plucky Duck Show. And the only new episode was called The Plucky Duck Show. It was just one episode. But all the other episodes were of reruns of Plucky Duck episodes. Chuck Jones said Plucky Duck. Not Plucky Duck, but Daffy Duck was the most perfect cartoon character ever. Yellow. And I understand it, honestly. <laughs> like, I think Bugs Bunny deserves to be the most important Looney Tunes character. I get why, but... I, I get from, like, an artistic perspective. And it's like, artists are always like, look at these people who failed. Like, artists are always so sad, and like, look at all these people who died on the Holocaust. And that's the sad part, but like, the American media is like, look at all these winners. Look at the Bugs Bunnies. Look at the people who didn't die in the Holocaust. Uh, this is, this is too deep. I've just talked about Grandpa Shark. Grandpa Shark is always green, I remember. Green! Look at all the sharks are together and they're playing together like a good family of friends and just collectively equal people. <laughs> that sounds like a Mega Man. If you don't know what Mega Man is, Mega Man was this really hard games of old games and now they're just like it's weird because they were designed for like kids in the 80s, but they were super hard. And now it's just like, I can't believe they were designed for kids because they're just so hard. Did you say turquoise? Now it's yellow. Look at all the colors. There's so many colors. There are 16 colors, and the humans can only understand three of them, the red, greens, and blues. Well, it looks like you have chess. I remember thinking, like, I, I didn't want to play chess with my parents, because I knew they would get addicted to me playing chess with them. And then when I, so I don't know what it was, but I was, like, really good at playing chess when I was a kid. Don't forget to subscribe! But seriously, if you're watching my videos, you should watch Pink Floyd, because I, I wouldn't be able to make these videos if I was a Pink Floyd. So if you're watching my videos, you should subscribe to Pink Floyd. You know it's weird, because people always tell you, that, like, oh, eating vegetables is so icky. Brushing your teeth isn't that big of a deal. You know what I like? When you're growing up, you would just have the vanilla flavor, but there are these things called watermelon and strawberry toothpaste. And they're actually good, which is like vanilla strawberry. It's just not vanilla strawberry, but just regular toothpaste doesn't taste very good, but watermelon tastes good. And there's also strawberry versions of it, but it's like, 
I mean, I don't know. I guess there's some kids where, like, strawberry tastes good. Nozzle. Watermelon. I like the watermelon. I don't know. It still feels really lame to me that, like, I only like watermelon, but it's like, you know what? I don't like soda. And you know that's probably a good thing, because soda isn't very healthy, so it's probably better you just like basic things. They're the most dynamic duel, even more than Bird and Ernie, and Bird and Ernie are like the most dynamic duel ever, because they're just like... Like when they were making Sesame Street, it was mostly just live action segments, they realized Kids really like the Bird and Ernie segments. They're like, oh, so if they really like puppets, we'll just make more of them. So they make Big Bird, and Grover, and The Count, and Cookie Monster, and all these awesome characters. And it's like, people, people just like puppets more than real people. So anyway, we're talking about firefighters now, which is like very important because you don't have firefighters. Yeah, and like they're protecting planet Earth and not just like, oh, we're not protecting just the richest people in the world. We protect everyone. I mean, firefighters are like the coolest person type of people in the world because they save people. I mean, they make people not die. Because imagine being a person who could have died and it's like, oh no, I'm gonna die. And then you have people who have firefighters and it's like, oh no, I don't die because these firefighters are just so awesome and firefighters are like the best people ever the utmost respect for people who are firefighters because you are just you save so many people's lives you you are just firefighters are just so cool like if you're a kid if you're a kid you just want to be who's the best person that's like you might not want to be a firefighter when you grow up, but it's like, who is the person you respect the most when you grow up? Firefighters, because they just save people's lives. It's hard to do, and it's hard to be a firefighter, because, like, you could die. You could die being a firefighter. It's like, imagine just working at, like, the Home Depot, and it's like... Oh, well, like, no matter how much I do, I never will be able to save a person's life. But a firefighter can do that, because firefighters are just so cool. Yeah, again, utmost respect for anyone who is a firefighter. I swear I just heard a loud bumpy noise, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Well, Brooklyn, the baby shark, looks pretty bored now. You know, because I hear there's this movie called Muppets Take Manhattan. Where it's all the Manhattan people. Manhattan are the people who made Broadway, but like... You sound like a PlayStation game. Circle, right, but you're right, in the Square. Nintendo version, they have an A, B, and a... They have an A, B, and a Y, X. And I believe <laughs> the Xbox version is just that. But in PlayStation, they have an X, a circle, a triangle and a square. Which really goes to show you how much better Sony is than Microsoft because it's like. We'll come up with original characters, then Microsoft is like, we'll just do the same thing Nintendo does. Yeah, because like. I don't remember. I remember there was like the A, B, and the X, Y. In the Japanese version of the PlayStation 4, they switched the A, Y. And it's like, yeah, because in the US, they have the X, Y. They have whatever they have. People were really upset. Because I gotta be honest, man. It's like. I get that, like, the US is the most powerful country in the world. So you would think we would just go for that and that'd be the default. But like, if they started it, if the Japanese people started it, if the Japanese people started which letter should go where, I think they should be the person. Cause like, it's stupid because it's like, whoever created the original besides where it goes is like, there is this disease called Sonic the Hedgehog disease which is like, it can literally kill people. 
So imagine being a person. Like, there is this horrible disease called Sonic the Hedgehog disease. And, like, they just can't take it seriously. I mean, me, the person making these videos, I have autism. And a lot of people who are autistic get called Asperger's Syndrome. Thank you, Pink Flong and Toilet. Poo, poo, poo. Oh. So anyway, I recorded these videos and I was like, look at all the poop videos. And I was like, I'm surprised I've never seen them before, but now I'm seeing them. Bye, poo poo. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, I think we're completely lost. I think you are right. We are just going around in circles. Did you say completely rushed? Is Brooklyn the baby shark or girl? Because I bet it's a boy. I'm sorry. Sorry for a Jimmy's gender. I thought you were a girl. You know, my sister used to be scared of the shadow from. She used to be scared of the shell from Peter Pan and it's like, why were you scared of that? Look at all the snakes! There's only one. Because tiptoe quietly so the snake doesn't wake up. Oh man, there, there are these amazing video games called Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. And there's this one level in Banjo-Tooie where it's like, you need to walk slowly and not disturb the snake. The primate. Primate? A sloth? Well, the Pink Floyd person seems to think, like, oh, it's not a sloth, so. It's a monkey! It's a primate of some sort. Oh, no. Do I have to go to the bathroom again? I, you know, in Spanish, they say yes to see. Like, I work at a hotel. I have co-workers who um, are immigrants from Mexico, they speak Spanish, and it drives me back to this, like, I can't understand what they're saying. I mean, I know they're not gonna be like, well, we are Spanish-speaking people, and we are like secret agents that can overthrow the entirety of America. I know they're not gonna do that, but it's just, it's like, people are always curious about the things they don't know. It's like how you have horror movies and just the scariest thing you can imagine. And then once they show what the bad guy is like. Because like horror is like the thing you can imagine to be the scariest thing ever is always scarier than what it is. Like there was a thing where it's like the hypothetical most scariest thing ever. And the producer was like, well we need to see what that thing is. And like... They could just gonna take it seriously. Have you ever heard crocodile babies make noises and they sound like not lizard, um laser sound. You woke him up! Now he's gonna eat you like in Peter Pan! Well you like metaphorically speaking, you dodged a bullet. See you next time, my dear Goodbye! If Get rid of my diabetes! My grandpa died of, but I don't know, maybe. And never mind. Hello, sick friends. Hopefully, you have a disease that we can career. I mean, um, distract, no, distract, um, cure. How do you have hot water underwater? It's like how in Spongebob it's like... Remember that episode where Spongebob and Patrick think they're criminals because they steal a free balloon? And then they have like... The only thing they have is water... Nurse, please get ready for treatment! Just wood that can be in fire but they realize they're underwater it goes out of business. Spongebob is great. I'm glad because pain and pain Doctor, is just nurse, bad no matter what. Friends, 
Thank you so much. I'm so I glad I mean, you're the reason pain exists is because if something is so bad is happening, <laughs> you need to know, oh, this is bad. But I guess if pain is happening for Second no real reason, people. it's probably bad that Please it's happening. They sound so Where sick. Are you You know, they said over here, and I'm like, that rhymes with over rear, so maybe they're talking about their butt, but then I remembered, oh yeah, this cartoon is made in South Korea, so they wouldn't have English rhymes anyway. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme one. I guess dinosaurs are pretty cool. I remember Tom, my grandpa died of diabetes and like <laughs> we all great came to his last Christmas because like we wanted to have the last year of his life have all those Christmas and then he died and then he just died and we can't have any more Christmases. So all of his uh, grandpa Butch was such a great person. I love him and he's dead now and that sucks because he's not alive anymore. I mean it looks like whites to me. No, I remember there's like this thing that's like Mucinex where it's like these ugly green people and like the medicine gets rid of them. <laughs> I mean, nerds really are the best. They're smarter and better than... Daddy Remember that one episode of Freakazoid where it's like, friends, the nerds make all the important decisions. Woohoo! The virus... <laughs> Remember Candle Candlejack from Freakazoid? Funny running Let gag. Daddy Shark, you are now very healthy. Hooray! I feel better now that my cold is gone. <laughs> it's all better! I'm so glad everyone is all better! Hooray! Thank you, Doctor and Nurse. Friends, thank you so much for... Elephants are so big, and they love their babies. They're flamingos! <laughs> Did you know that instead of making milk like mammals do, flamingos make just sort of things that look like blood from their eyes, but they make a bunch of nutrients for the babies. Flamingos are cool. Then we forget about the buffaloes, which are just cows, but boys. And then you have zebras, which are just horses, but they can't be domesticated. And then you have giraffes, which are just... Basically just deers with really long necks. And then lions are just cats. You don't have to worry about all the why they say Australian, um all of the lions who eat other animals. Did you know there are also red bananas which taste like orange, not orange, yellow bananas. And there's orange bananas that taste like regular bananas but they're similar flavors and there's blue and turquoise that taste better and there's also purple and orange but I don't know what they taste like. Oh no, you're gonna run out of bananas! Dramatic music! We're not milking, but like the more they eat, the less bananas there are. <laughs> Big Frog! Not ice cream. What do you mean ice cream colors? It looks like Christmas colors. So many nanas! Baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, mommy shark. 
Reject the 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 reject the 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 reject the 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 reject. Bro, shark the 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 shark the 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 shark the 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 shark. Shark the 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 shark the 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 shark the 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 shark. Who's Manstall? Yeah, so he is the master who hunts things until they run away from a higher predator. Like our video? Don't forget to subscribe! Search for Pinkbox on YouTube! I guess that's the end of the video. Goodbye, everyone!